Welcome to the College of Cinema. My name is Aaron. Uh, this is Main Biz December Malcolm right here. Hello. And perfect. So it wasn't my side. Had to be on my side. You went through everything. And you're like, what's going on? And I'm like, I can't figure it out. Weird. Only Weird. thing I can think is that maybe when I was setting things up, I hit something. It happens. Possibly. Welcome to the College of Cinema. Tonight, we are talking about four sales in specific. We're going to start off the Vinegar Cinema Partner Label sale. We've got a Kino March Madness sale. We have an Indicator sale, and we have an Arrow sale. We're going to look at all four sales, give recommendations, put the sales up against one another, see who comes out on top, and rank them in the end. Uh, it should be a lot of fun, and uh, I'm sure uh, where Malcolm has a lot of these titles, he'll be able to give a lot of recommendations, especially in the Vinegar Cinema Partner Label sale, because yeah. I'm willing to bet... He's probably got them all. <laughs> I do actually, I think. All right. Doesn't which mean is I, good. Doesn't mean I've seen them all though. Film Master Scream Seven, which should have Melissa in it. Just saying. I'm a big fan of Melissa. Um uh, then uh I have to bring this up here because uh I was gonna plug in the the uh one of my monitors, extra monitors, but I uh I did not get to do that. I did not. I did I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. No. Uh, <laughs> I got to find me. I got to find me. I got to find you. Did you? Okay. So I used uh, what has to be the lamest AI generator uh -oh. thumbnail. I thought it'd be fun. Um, so. That is totally a. I, I wanted to just to, to check it out. Streamer it has their own like really lazy AI generated thumbnail thing, and I said I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna do a couple of these. I'm gonna see if anybody notices, anybody calls it out. Uh, nobody did yet. Uh, uh, <laughs> so nobody I called had, out the laziness. It's better than I it's better than just a still image, I guess. I had to call it out, uh, but because you know it's that's that's what we get. Yeah, no, I was I was gonna work on some other stuff, but I thought it started out, and you know this actually. Uh, we did a video and uh, was kind of talking about the future of like physical media subscription services. And at that point, I'm like, hey, I'm going to use an AI thumbnail, yeah. a future future type thing. I wait till somebody picks up on it. Nobody did. So, <laughs> so this video, I said, oh, okay, I'm doing it one more time. And uh, I'm going to pick the the most like unattractive one possible, <laughs> which I'm probably going to change later on. And you did. Um, let's, and it is, it's like, it's like a, Piss yellow thumbnail. Um, mm. <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready? Check yeah. out the set. Let's check it out. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> okay, so uh, I am super excited about uh, checking this out. So the Umbrella Entertainment uh, partner label going up. What do we, which one do we check on? Oh, let's check the one you want. We do Umbrella first. There's 13 products here. See, I'm a fan of Umbrella. Now, here's the thing, and I've talked about, to Malcolm about this before, is like unless you're like a super slipcover person and you want to have all slipcovers of vinegar cinnamon puts out, um, or, you know, it's way too expensive for you to get Umbrella from Umbrella, Umbrella packages that they put out themselves, they're so good, man. Uh, yeah, they are. They're a lot better. They're, the, they're like, they, they, they're above me. Like, if you think you've seen, like, some really good stuff, guys, the stuff... Super Mario Brothers Umbrella Edition. We were idiots not picking it up, man. We were <laughs> yeah, we feel really stupid for not getting it. Yeah, it was amazing. I watched uh, Heath unboxing that, and uh, Middle of Media unboxing too, I think. And uh, oh, wow. I'm like, oh man, why didn't I pick that up? <laughs> crazy. It's absolutely crazy when you think something's going to be one way, and then you find out it's going to be like this phenomenal set. And I'm a fan of that film. I'm a fan of those. Uh, the director. I'm a Obviously, because what they chose my what they chose my clone, uh, Matt Frewer, to be in like Max Headroom. So there you go. All right. So starting off with the tunnel plus the tunnel, the other side of darkness. Uh, this is a pure. Uh, so yeah, uh, they just see. announced that one. So I don't know why that's even in it. Classifies the sale because there isn't. So let's put this into uh, let's put US dollars since most of our uh, people are from the United States. Yeah. Uh, so we got stranded. 
Saints, Cosmic Cycles, Blokes You Can Trust. Do you have this one? Uh, yeah, I do. It's like a documentary thing, I think. I haven't watched it yet because it only came out, I think, like a month or two ago. Oh, Bob Geldof. Oh, wait a minute. Like the 70s punk rock move, movement. New York had the Ramones. London had Sex Pistols. Australia had the Saints. Okay. Mm. For uh, for those that don't know, I was a massive punk fan. Oh, hey, CM Punk fan, yeah. Well, that too, yeah. But <laughs> uh, but I'm a, I'm a, I was a massive. I was into punk music, um, especially when I was younger, man. Yeah. So I'm not going to go into all these. Oh. GL Ketty Futures in it's it's a book, paperback book. Sons of Steel, Top Knot Detective. Also, if you if you're to pick one title out of these four, because I'm not going to include well at least three. All right. Which one are you gonna get? Which, which one are you gonna go with? Uh, Top Knot Detective, I would say, and then Sons of Steel. All right, we get to End of the Dam plus Night of Fear, Dead the Panther plus Strike the Panther, which is classic. You should, everybody should own that. Death of Brunswick, Midnight Spares, and Shame. I'm gonna choose Shame because I absolutely freaking love that movie. Yeah, that's a great uh, film. And. What? Which one are you going to choose? That's not that doesn't have Panther in the title. Um, <laughs> uh, probably uh, Midnight Spares. Midnight Spares. Oh, even over In of the Damned and Night of Fear. Oh yeah. All right. Now we get to actual classics. There, we got Spirits of the Air, Grims of the Clouds, Nightmares, which I do consider a classic, yeah. and Undead. Why do you choose here? Uh, I picked Nightmares yeah. over Undead and the other one. Nightmares is such a good film. It really, really is. It's fun. Let's get to their it's a lot of fun. Part going into a print sale. So this can be audited, uh, audited since Def Crocodile and more. So there's 46 here. Uh, I haven't looked at this yet, so we're just looking at this together. I wonder, yeah. are there any titles that we don't, any companies we don't know listed here, I wonder? Or is it just the, one, mm. the ones that we're thinking of? Well, we know Death Crocodile and Awarded Innocence for sure, but maybe there's others. Let's find out. Uh, so we start off with Kindazada. I just like saying it's, that, by the way. I'm guessing that's the last release they're doing on Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, yeah. That's the pre-order one. That's, that's their last release. Uh, World War Three, Bubble mm. Bath, the tune. Oh, I love Bill Plimpton. Bill Plimpton is such a friggin' insane yeah. madman. I love his stuff. The Mysterious ca Castle on the Carpathians. What's your favorite of this uh, this run, man? Bathtub and the tune. <sighs> I, I like the tune because I'm a Bill Plimpton Pim Plimpton guy, so. Yeah, I like Bathtub just because it's a weird kind of surreal kind of animation. We got three more deaf. Oh, Yellow Veil Pictures is leaving too? Oh, wow. Or well, maybe it's just going out of print. Uh huh. Yeah, that's it. Uh, oh. uh... <laughs> well, that's yeah, if, they, little... if they've got more of their stuff there, then that might. Oh, yeah, they might sell. They've got an ER, ETR Media one as well. Yeah, maybe some are just going to print them. You can see all these something's going. Benny's bathtub, Cat City, or in other words, my house. Uh, yes. Astrakhan, <laughs> Once Upon a Time in Uganda, and Heroic Times. Uh, Heroic Times, I sort of that's a good one too. That's a really good movie. Mm. And that's one I have, yeah. but I don't oh. know. Oh, shit! Uh, it's sold out. Yeah, you got this one right. I yeah, I've got Heroic uh, Times. It's brilliant. Hmm. I think I might pick uh, Once Upon a Time in Uganda because it's a great documentary. Oh, uh, the Macaulay one? Yeah, yeah. I like that. It's a great documentary. Name of the title, Another Tales of Woe by Carlos. Cons by Carlos. Ooh. I was wondering uh, if you were going to uh, say something else then when you said the name. Car but Uranian Dreams, Two Homosexual Films by Eloy Dioglacius. Ultra Incense, The Hole in the Fence. ETR Media, 
Graveyard Live, or uh, The Hole in the Fence, or how Malcolm pays for his media. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right. The Canalog, uh, the, African, the Adam Rifkin Film Festival. Yeah, I can see this one being an, an old P one, which is a sh- Well, they, they did say that was going to be only one month, so. It lasts longer than that. Is it any good? Uh, I like Adam Rifkin, but it's, have you, have you uh, seen I'd it? I'd take the hole in the fence because I, uh, no, I own it, but it's his early ways, so <laughs> when he was a kid and that. So, so it's it's probably not the best thing ever. So it's like me saying, "Okay, here's my uh, here's here, here's my videos from when I first started." <laughs> exactly. That's basically what it's like. Uh, All the senses, volume two, full moon trilogy, uh, time of roses. Assassins of the Tsar and the Flesh Merchant. Well, I won't recommend Full Moon Trilogy because that's a big pile of turd. So I think I would probably go with Flesh Merchant and Time really? of Roses. Yeah. <laughs> now one of my favorites, actually. <laughs> I don't own it. I've seen it. There's a reason I don't own it, though. Whereas some of them, you know, just have time, but I just wasn't a fan of them. Yeah. On the stars. Okay, right, this is my top right here. Uh, Brothers Keeper, Solomon King, I love those covering this one. Uh, that was a great cover. Death Magic, Death Magic got a cool cover too, actually. And ah, Canadian one, Canadian International Pictures, The Rainbow Boys. Oh, the great. So I'm choosing that one just because it's Canadian. It's got Donald Pleasance. All right, there you go. You got to love it. Um, I will oh, pick. I will pick my uh, brother's keeper. Because that was a good one. Oh, there's some oh God, some good titles that are going from uh, from their partner labels, man. You got Viva Radica from Canny, Devil Rider from Culture Shock. Mm-hmm. I love that cover, man. Uh, yeah. Streets of Death, After Blue, Dirty Paradise, and Jack B. Nimble, which was one of those like uh, that you always yeah, saw. It sold instantly, didn't it? It sold, it sold almost instantly. Well, it was one of those like back in the in my day. Uh, it was like a popular rental, VHS rental. Hey there, Vince. Welcome, man. What does Malcolm think of the mysterious castle in the Carpathians? What do you think of that one, man? Well, I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. Um, when I saw the trailer for it, I was very excited for it, but I haven't seen it yet, Vince. Uh, I'll try and watch it in the next couple of days, and uh, if you pop on, then uh, ask me again. I'll let you know. Yeah, Jack Benham was one of those, like, back in the day, it was rented all the time. Um, Alexis Arquette, I think, they're in it, that they're the mm. one that stars of it. Uh, yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen it, but it was, like, it was a very popular film back then. So uh, I'll, pick v- I'll pick V V Erotica. I'm going to pick Jack Benham, because I'm just going to be boringly, like, not surprising there. Mm. <laughs> uh, we got Out of Order, The Time Bending Mysteries of Sharam Makri. Uh, Night Ripper, Game of Survival, and Video Murders. Ooh. I'm going to pick Video Alders. Murders because it's got such good cover. <laughs> it's got a great cover. Our Bold is the best one on that list. Yeah. And it's 4K too. Yeah. It looks beautiful as well. Oh, now I'm going to tell ones that hurt me. Uh, there's a Del- Delta Space Missions there, man. Uh, the Islands of Yan Gonzalez, You in the Night, The American Scream, De- uh, Delta Space Mission. I remember seeing this, like an old, old crappy version of this one uh, back in the day. Mm. Uh, Hypnosis and The Unknown Man of Shan Dicko. Okay. What do you choose? The Unknown Man of Shan Dicko. Since I don't know that man very well, I'm going to choose Def- Delta Space Mission. <laughs> All right, uh, Smut Without Smut, Satanic Horror Night. I'm surprised this one lasted as long as it did. Uh, Death of Nintendo, which was not at all what that was going to be. No. Uh, Wild Tigers I've Known, A Dim Valley, So Long Billy, and we'll get, and, well, this one's already sorted. Well, Lowell, Lowell's is so well. Uh, uh, Death of Nintendo. Nintendo. I hear it's a really good film. I haven't seen it, you know? It is a really good film, actually. It's kind of like a coming of age movie. I'm a massive fan of coming of age films. So that the is most you know, interesting part of it for me was I think they're in the Philippines. I think I could be wrong, and they get their cokes and they're put in like plastic bags with a straw dropped in. I never even knew that happened. 
Are you serious? That's cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Really cool. I used to love going on like uh, websites uh, and like for different countries and going to their fast yeah. food places and seeing what their, uh, what their, you know, the version of Happy Meals, what type of toys, yeah. what type of like things put in there. Sometimes really like bitchin' cool stuff. Mm. So what do you think this sale overall and what do you think this means? I Is think this, this uh, I think it means Def Cock are down all the innocence and culture shock are gone. Which yeah. I know is kind of uh, shocking at the minute because we don't want all the innocents to leave because we all love them. We all want to own them. They're better than Vinegar Syndrome's own stuff. Um, I was in a Russ Meyer movie. Thank you. I played with those bangers. And, um, you know, I think the other stuff is kind of going out. But I wouldn't be surprised if ETR and uh, is it Factory 25 are going. It's hard to say. I mean, like, I, obviously, Umbrella recently came, so I, I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. No, the point uh, is they don't need that money as much as the others because they've got their own site and everything. Yeah. So let's look here at the labels overall. Okay. And we, I meant to do this before, but I'm not sure we're going to rank them, but we're going to put a pick our top five. Okay. Okay. So, uh, and I think we've done something similar to this before, but uh, we're doing is it. This not, is this not counting the ones that have left? No, no, we're like counting them in all with innocence. Like, all with innocence, we're not going to count, right? Uh, I'd count. Okay, let's, yeah, let's do it. Okay, then, because we haven't done that before. So we have to count things that are, we can't Sorry. count things that are gone, that we know is going for sure. Okay. Okay. So we got altered incense, which of course we can't count. Agfa's still there. Art labels, the new one. By the uh, the the one of the guys from Culture Shock when they split up, uh, one guy did art label, one guy you know is gonna be, is doing Culture Shock. We got Big World Pictures, Leading Skull, CIP, from Jad. All the, I've heard great things about Def Crocodile. I just recently watched a video on this guy. Him and his wife are like master, like they like cinema, like uh, like Criterion esque, you know that style cinema, and they had. He said, I got my first like order from Vinegar Syndrome. I mean, they had the two cinema cinema graphs, right? Yeah. But everything else was all was Def Crocodile. I'm like, oh man, you're in for <laughs> But uh oh, dear. it was right after it happened, too. So uh Canadian National Pictures, Collective is here, Call Shack's not, Dark Store Pictures, that Def Crocodile's not, the catalog's still there as for now, ETR Media. Factory 25, Film Movement Classics. <laughs> <It's any dishes. laughs> that was my favorite, by the way, I guess. Dumb Pattern Sky, IFC Films, Can Canny, Memory, Music Box Films, Saturn's Core. When's the last time they put it in Saturn's Core? Subculture. Uh, the, last, the last Saturn's Core one was the uh, wrestling, uh, was the Mom and Pop Store one. <sighs> That was a good one. Uh, film desk. I don't have it, but you know, that's what I want. Umbrella. Uh, Utopia. VHS Hitfest or Shitfest, whatever you want to call it. XYZ mm -hmm. and Yellow Veil Pictures. Okay. What's your top three? Uh, my top three would be uh, Agfa, Science Core, and. Why film movement? So let me see. Because they've released a lot of films I've been interested in lately. So can you say the uh, the third one again? A uh, film movement. I have chosen Canadian National Pictures. <laughs> yes, Malcolm. Canadian National Pictures was a great choice. Hey, hey. No, oh. never. I wondered what happened. No one was muted. Oh, what are you talking about? You weren't muted. No, I was muted. The sound tried to copy my voice. Um, I would. I'm going to choose Canadian National Pictures, of course. Uh, Utopia. Uh, I really like their stuff. Mm. And uh, you know, not a lot. I'll be honest with you. Not a lot of these do a lot for me. Like VHS that, like, hit fest. That's what you want. <sighs> I should have picked Canny, really, but I feel a lot of their movies are a bit. Mm. I think Yellowville. Yellowville kind of speaks to me. 
but stuff to do. Yeah. Um, That's true, actually. So it's it's a you know it's just me things. What type of stuff I'm into. Let us know, by the way, guys, in the comment section there if you want what your favorite part and label is, what uh how you feel about the labels that are leaving, and how you feel about uh and what your prediction is of the next label that's going to go off on its own. Oh, I reckon the next ones go off on its own. Yeah, will probably by Saturn's core. Oh, I could see that actually. They're get, they're getting a grunt swell. Um, yeah. And it's those type of ones that like really know, like yeah. really have a strong sense of their identity. Yeah, like to definitely. see it for other ones. Because uh, oh, they do. I mean, I'll be honest with you. If Satan's Call goes, I won't resub. Ooh. Because I part of the reason I subscribe is because I want that uh, extra money off of the other stuff as well. And if I'm not buying as much because they're gone, then there's no point in me doing that. Nick says, "Too bad Culture Shock's leaving. They're one of my favorite partner labels. They're a lot of one, a lot of people's favorite partner labels. Also, by having like a a Red Ranger in the in your uh, in your picture yes. thumbnail, extra coolness. For yes. if you don't know and you're new to this, uh, Nick, I'm a massive Power Rangers fan. I want you to know, Nick, you're a star." The obvious joke. The obvious joke. I like it. <laughs> Power Rangers Zeal. Film Macho. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Oh, yeah, boy. Nice. Orange. In case we wonder why I keep moving around, it's because I have to sit right next to my phone because I'm <laughs> trying to look at it. Because I'm trying to look. As I'm trying to look at the one on the screen, but it's like. 20 seconds behind so i keep looking up and i'm There's looking like this i said i couldn't no. hear Mal malcolm malcolm kept changing stuff and doing stuff and checking to see if things was updated checking the settings it was on my side it's all my fault uh so uh reason malcolm has to move around a bit he's a little bit of a delay it, you know it's on me uh so uh i just gotta take take credit for that <laughs> i don't know i mean if i was like Culture shock is a, is a major. I think Saturn's core would be a major loss uh, for them. Uh, I think Saturn's core would be a big loss. Yeah. Um, the culture shit. Culture shit. <laughs> culture. <laughs> culture shit. Culture shit. A culture shock did leave. Uh, they left quite a while ago. Yeah. It's just uh, remaining stocks that haven't sold out, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, like so. Yeah, basically, think of like your uh, you. You at a local at a shop and you go to like uh like a dollar store, right? And you see like a bunch of these yeah. movies that are that are at a print or the company's not around anymore. You get BCI titles or uh, stuff like that. I got I gotta put that up there. <laughs> uh, uh but uh but yeah, on the but this is their their clearance, uh where they're saying they would just want to get rid of everything. I'm not sure like I'm actually surprised that a company has been gone for so long and that they can still sell their titles. They talked, right? That's uh, I mean, I mean, that's a well, hot thing in the contract. It is. I mean, I think it's. I mean, I love the whole part in the label stuff. Of course, uh, and you know, some of them don't really have an identity. I mean, VHS Hit Fest. Yeah, they've got some good titles, but you don't look at them as, oh, yeah, look, at I've got to get those titles. You know? Satan's Core, you look at it and you go, yep, great thing if you're into that. Utopia, Yellow Vell, you know you're going to get some good films. You know, and there's, most of them you do, but some of them are kind of like stuck behind. I mean, and that that's the thing, and... And they brought in like new partner labels when other partner labels have left. Uh, I, I don't think they've brought in anything yet, in my opinion. Like, not for I'm me. The same level. That's going to hit like Fun City Editions level. I'm a massive Fun City fan, right? Um, yeah. Great stuff. The guy that does that is great, by the way. Um, but uh, I like the uh, I like that style. I like that style of stuff. 
So if for me, if Utopia was was last, like just to give you an idea, yeah. guys. So like like some of the titles that are uh, that are there, for instance, like uh, not for everybody, right? But for me, you got you know Therapy Dogs. There, the you know fun like Several Dead, Even Tween Girl. Uh, we got of course uh, Shit and Champagne, which is actually a lot of fun. Um, uh, Vortex. There was a, uh, of course, Shiva Baby for Mad Men only is a massively incredible documentary and underrated as well. Uh, Bloody Nose. Uncle Memory's uh, good. Oh yeah, Martha. Oh, Golden Pitchers Arm. Movie. I was Golden Arm. That was fun. Which one? Uh, Golden Arm. Golden Arm. <laughs> Nick said he picked up some Yellowville. Yellow Veil Tales. Like, they've got some nice stuff. I mean, Daniel some Reels coming out. Uh, with the Devil Realms is there. Ash Call, uh, the Teenage Mutant Investigation actually kind of inter interests me. Uh, I picked up Knocking, was my first Yellow Veil one. And oh, uh, that's I'm, a good one. It's yeah, it was a it's, it's a bit of a mind, you know. Um, it is, but because uh, you don't know by the end of it, you don't know hmm. completely that's cool. like uh, what's actually going on. The ambiguity was muchly appreciated. Mm. I think sometimes I think some of them said the best kind. And here we go. ETR Media is putting it out in the ring, which I think is by far and large. I'm going to say it right now. ETR Media's best one, of the, one of the best releases. Oh, definitely. Uh, I know the director of this. I'm like, like you know, full disclosure. Uh, the director has been on the channel. Like, uh, well, not but you know, as a commenter, I'm going to have mine actually. Oh, uh, you know, Rye, Rye Levy. Uh, you know, Rye, Rye he's, yeah, he's I know. Rye is, is the guy with the cool picture, yeah. Um, uh, so uh, he's uh, I'm actually kind of curious. Uh, we should talk to him about like WrestleMania. I asked him, I asked him, uh, exclusively what he thought, uh, what he wanted to tell me about his documentary, and he said, Don't worry, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. No. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of fell, didn't it? Flat. All right. Yeah. I, you know, I did. I, I totally told him over my head and over my head. <laughs> oh, uh, I want to go Tell through all the joke. company. We're going to jump back on this here. Umbrella's got a sale on, on here. We've got there's, there's like a double sale going on right now. Let's check out Kino. And uh, we're right. going to go through all the, all the big sales. Give recommendations. I'm gonna pit them up against one another. It's really hard to do, and uh, see what who comes out on top on the raw mm. rumble of sales. I want to see if my mic works now. Seven hundred plus totals for as low as four ninety nine. Yes, please. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be nice if they all were, wouldn't it? So. All right, I gotta put this off. I apparently gotta put my friggin' email and do this. So look at me for a second, you guys. <laughs> Oh, we got to put you in under another one. Okay, I'll move you and I'll put you back in. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Are you ready oh. to cry? Because there's a lot of these. One pick each per, per row, as you always do this. Uh, Make a comment on the uh, chat, Malcolm. Hey. Like, you know, type something. There's a reason. Can everybody hear me?
Hello. There you go. You have oh, a wrench. Nice. Told you. Hey. All right, here we go. There's six titles right here. One of them is 4K. It's three days of the Condor. The Seventh Don, 12 Angry Men, 13th Washington Square, 21 Hours at Munich, and 52 Pickup. I'm going to choose first here because I'm going to choose 52 Pickup, which is one of my favorite movies, uh, which I don't think you choose anyway. <laughs> I'm going to pick your face because I can't see the website. Oh, you can't see the website. Mm. But everybody else can see it. What's me? What do you mean, Malcolm? It's just you. No, no. <laughs> you uh, Fifty-two pickup. Fifty-two pickup is good. Uh, I would pick Three Days of the Condor. Great film, great choice. And I knew you'd pick it. That's why I, picked, I chose Fifty Pickup. Mm. All right, Two, twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Against all flags. Love the cover of that one, actually. Ajami, alias Jesse James. All I Desire, the beautiful Barbara Stanwyck, and All My Sons. Oh, Needful Things, that's such pick. a good one. Yeah, well, I picked first last time, man. It's your first pick. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess Jesse James, because I love a bit of Bob Hope. I'm an Earl Flynn fan, so I'm always going to choose Earl Flynn when he's got his sword out. That sounds wrong after I said it. As soon as I did, I knew it. Okay. Uh, Needful yeah. Things is a great 4K tab uh, film watcher. Against all flags. I'm um, just that one. Well, I've got I've got the 12 Angry Men 4K. Looks good. I'm glad it came with the other one as well. Nice. That, does it come to 97? I did not know that actually. Because yeah, I don't have it yet. It's kind of it's I, a real result, which you don't know. And then you see it and you're like, ooh. I definitely want to have this one. Oh, all Night Long's here. Uh, we got All Screwed Up, The All Nighter, L'Amour, Brock, in other words, Mad Love, uh, and Soon the Darkness, The Anderson Tapes. I have to choose one of my favorite girls, one of my favorite singers, and my one of my favorite Criterion Closet uh, people. So Susanna Hoffs with The All Nighter. Not a great film, but I actually dig it. It's an early like Liam Neeson role, too, by the way. So obviously, you know I like classic films. So, so Malcolm, your choice. Did Mr. M freeze up on us? Or have I frozen up? So let me know. OK, I think we know. Um, and by the way. Feel free to play along and pick your choice as we go through each of these lines as well. Because just because I don't pick it or Malcolm doesn't pick it, you may not, we, it might be one that we haven't seen, we haven't seen in a while. Uh, you might have a you know a great idea for something. You might say, okay, so people should really watch this film. It's been a night of technical issues. I'll tell you that much right now. But can you see me? I'm not sure if I want you to see me there, but <laughs> hopefully you can see me. If you can see me and hear me, give me a hell yeah. So, since Malcolm's not here yet, I'll have to take Malcolm's place. And say exactly what I think Malcolm would say. Thank you, Nick. In uh, in this case. Hello there, hearing you, massive, manly, gorgeous man. <laughs> I bow to your choices. Hey there. Hey. Hey. Well, <laughs> I chose all nighter, so it's your pick. Uh, let's say um, I'm going to pick all night long. Oh, actually, I'm surprised. Uh, I thought you picked the Anderson tapes. I really did. Ooh. You shocked. You shocked me. 
And this is your turn sure. to go first, by the way. We got Angel, Marlene Dietrich, the beautiful Marlene Dietrich, the anime Wong collection, the Antichrist, aka the Tempter, Ants, Final Two Gunsmoke Reunion movies. Oh, yeah. I like Gunsmoke, Ape 3D, and Boris Karloff's The Ape. These are obviously done in epic order. Uh, so, what do you choose? Well, by picking this, I can't go Wong. So, Anna Mai Wong collection. <laughs> You can't go wrong. That's a me joke. <laughs> not sure. <laughs> that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, anything. Uh, I, I, as much as I want to say ape or something like that, because I love my three D stuff, and you know my my dad. Uh, I yeah, Marlene Dietrich. It's directed by Ernst Lubitsch as well. So you know you're getting like super quality there. Oh, I'm a massive cool. Ernst Lubitsch fan. Uh, no, it's gonna be. A, I'll, I'll tell you right now. This one's not gonna be easy for me. Uh, Apocalypse 45, Arabian Nights with John Hall and Sabu, the Arsene Lupin collection. Oh, man, that's pretty cool, actually. Assassination, Henry Silva, another great one. Uh, Adi Murphy collection two and Adi Murphy collection three. Uh, it's my first go, isn't it? Damn. Yeah. Uh, I think I do like Helmet Flavor and Posture. Okay, uh, Destry's there in, in volume two. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with volume two, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if volume one was there, I probably would have picked that, but I think in this case, it's going to be the Lupin collection. Oh, thank you. I was hoping you picked that. that is I own this. Great collection. Oh, fantastic. Hin loves these films, too, by the way. You're going to get the first choice here, so I know for sure you're going to be picking Bakura, uh, The Alpha Dr. Orloff. Mm. Pick the new black and white French noir to watch your mom. That's actually cool. One. It's cool that you picked it up too. It's awesome that you're watching with your mom. So <laughs> big props, Vince, man. Yeah, always enjoy watching stuff with your mom because before it's too late. Oh, I miss my mom right now. Uh, I miss my now. mom used to watch, uh, me and my mom used to watch movies together all the time when I was a kid. So, you know. Parents can be one of the things that like kind of bond you to, to films. Yeah, they're the kind of, sometimes they come along and when they're gone, it's never the same. But you leave, they leave you with the memories, the good ones that you want. And they leave you with the bad memories. Oh, no, I'm going to talk about <laughs> it right now. Oh, Baby Blood, Backstreet, Vakura, The Balcony. I don't know if you ever saw did you ever see that? Did you ever see that speed run video where the girl goes, can you just stop for a minute? And she starts crying, talking about how her grandmother, you know, is ill and everything. And the guy's sitting there trying to beat Zelda. Uh, and everybody in the comments is like, what a piece of... <laughs> What's he supposed to do? I mean, like, it's it's bad. I mean, like, you want, and you want to, like, you'd be, you know, there. But it's like, that's definitely not the type of video where you you, you stop, I guess, and yeah, you well, try. It was a speed run. It was a speed run, you know, uh, in <laughs> yes. front of people for charity. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a pretty, you know... Nice guy for that. Uh, yeah, no, no, trying to. No, I, I'm, I'm with him on this one. I think I really am. Um, what's your choice? Uh, I think I'm going to pick. It's really hard because there's some really good ones on this line. Um, I think I pick the awful Doctor Olaf. Fantastic title. I'm going to pick Backstreet. Uh, we got oh, nice. Susan Hayward, John Gavin, Fair Miles. John Gavin, by the way, was the go to guy to play James Bond if nobody came into it. Came in. Oh, I, really? Such a, a weird choice uh, because yeah. you've seen John Gavin. Of course, he works with Vera Mills, like in Psycho, right? Uh, yeah. But uh, it's just so weird like to think John Gavin is, I can't see him. I can't, yeah. I can't see him as, 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 as Dustin. As, as, Dustin, a nice cobwebs is in here. Uh, who does some amazing stuff? I watched. I was watching a video of his actually earlier on today. <laughs> yeah, noise. All right. You thought the last one was hard? Here's where we're getting really hard because we got the bank tick from WCD Fields. We got Barbara Stanwyck collection. We got the Barbarians. So, you know, that's 
you know, the budget of like body oil and like that movie alone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I do like that film. It's a fantastic film. Uh, I remember they're making Barbarians, I think. Uh, Beach Red. Yeah. Bedtime for Bonzo. I remember seeing that a lot when I was a kid. Uh, and Bell of the 90s. And it's my first go, and I'm chicken. I'm picking Miss Stanwyck. You, you know, I had an obsession with her. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, well, I always believe in uh, in uh, putting it in the bank. So I'm going to go with the bank deck. <laughs> Watch Lady Frankenstein Day. Oh, it's such a fun film. Uh, if I remember correctly, that's with Joseph Cotton, right? The Lady Frankenstein? Uh, isn't, that the, isn't that the new one? Oh, uh, no, Lisa Frankenstein's new one. Is it? They say oh, I get confused. Lady Frankenstein. Yeah, that's probably I'll you're probably hint. right. Sucked him so long. I get today. confused sometimes. I was just about to say, sweetie. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, that's the new one, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> right, we sat oh, around dear. like the yesterday. Uh, we got Bend of the River, Berlin, Alex Alexander Platts. Billy the Kid versus Dracula, uh, truly an awful film. <laughs> the Birth of a Nation, Black Marble, and Black Sabbath, the AIP edition. Okay. Do I get the pick first? Yes, you do. It's your, it's your pick, dude. Because I recently got the poor card, Goodbye Uncle Tom, I felt we had Birth of a Nation. <laughs> That's the, that, that is a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Seven edition. Oh, so that is Joseph Cotton. There was about the nearest in that too, by the way. It was my one of my dad's favorite. Like, I think we're, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was. was about uh, Birth of Nation was the one, but was really uh, bad. But it's, it's got it's kind of weird. It's kind of a weird one because over here, uh, it's a three disc edition. I think from BFI, and it's in such a weird limbo with people like. You've got, oh, it's banned because it's horrible, it's this. But then you've got the conversation when it comes to, like, the uh, conversation of film and stuff and history. But it has merit value to the history. Now, I'm not Definitely. saying I, mean, I feel that one. I'm just saying I don't that think it's not, I mean, you know. if anything, you know, it was, it was probably over time, wasn't, like, obviously, you know, no. Like, <laughs> um, I'm picking Bend of the River. Fantastic film. It's a classic. I'm picking a lot of classics. Like, it's weird, hey? Uh, James Stewart, Julia, Julia Adams. You know, I would have put you the Billy the Kid versus Dracula. To be honest, uh, I would if I wanted to have a laugh. But I, uh, I'm, I'm legitimately trying to pick good movies that uh, that I'm going to watch more than once. And Bend of the River. You know, it's got the girl from uh, Julia Adams. That's the girl from Creature from Black Lagoon, if I remember correctly. Because it got it's got Rock Hudson in as well. Oh, I love Rock Hudson. Anything Rock Hudson. In. Okay, it's my turn to go first. So I come I don't get as good choices oh. as you. The, bl the bliss of Mrs. Blossom. I said I thought that said bosom. I, I honestly did. Uh, Blood and sand. Oh, Valentino. The blood beast terror. Great cover. Uh, that is great blue. Cool. Blue Panther, aka Marie Chantel versus Doctor Chow. And Bluebeard. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna pick the classic because I know what you're gonna pick. <laughs> I'll choose Blood and Sand. It's it, it's it's a really uh, good film. I'll pick Bluebeard. Are we? I thought for sure you picked the Blue, Blue Panther. Uh, Marie Chantel versus Doctor Chow. I was going to pick Blue and sing a part of the Blue sing one of Blue songs, but then I thought, eh. I love this cover too. You now Blood Beast Hair is that's a fantastic cover for an, for a mediocre film. I'd love to buy that for nine ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> It's, yes, because Blood Beast here, 99 is what you buy for. Uh, it's no, that's, that's not a bad. I'm not saying it's a bad film. It's not a great film. I think it's being fair. I'm being fair tonight. I'm just being. I'm being honest. Yeah. Blue Bear's be eighth wife. Of course, also released by Indicator. Bukakia, Bukokio. For a second, I thought you were going to say Bukaki then. <laughs> Bodies rest in motion. The body of my enemy. The Boogans 4K. Oh, nice. And the border. Hey, how are you? How you doing? Hey, welcome, Master Chaos. How's your voice, man? Hi. 
I pick the body of my enemy. That's a great choice. Uh, I got to go with the Boogans. I love the Boogans. It's such a classic. Uh, so under, and like I love the fact that they had one monster. <laughs> and it wasn't all what they initially expected. Um, they're like, okay, we're going to make this. Oh, perfect. I can do it. Spot on. I can make the exact monster you want. And just like what the monster is, is completely different than what they asked for. <laughs> Big Night Day going to the screening of the clones of Bruce Lee with Bruce Lee and Lee in attendance for Q&A. Hey. Congratulations, Master Chaos. I heard about that. I heard about that happening. Uh, I, I hope it's a lot of fun for you. Enjoy that. And also, as always, Master Chaos, otherwise known as Jose, he just came out with the movie Monster Mash, which hopefully you have checked out by now. If you haven't, make sure you do, because that is on VOD, and it definitely needs a physical media release. I want to see. What I'm making, I just said, no, I'm making a triple X parody of Monster Mash called Monster Smash. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, a definitely check it out, guys, if you haven't already. Not Smash, Monster Mash. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> I was wondering how far you're taking the joke. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to see the documentary, man. Uh, okay, we got Border Town 1, 2, and 3 here. <clears throat> the Bounty. The Mel Gibson, not the Anthony Hopkins version from the 80s. Uh, the Brass Bottle and Break Heart Pass. And it's your first go. I'm going to cheat here. All of Border Town, because Border Town's a great series. Like, which could leave Break Heart Pass for me. So, uh, break your pass to this man. That's a good movie. Damn good movie. Oh, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, join the Patreon if you want to. I don't know. Donate. Super chat. Blah, blah, blah. All, all that good stuff. But above all, just sit back and enjoy the video. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, never off. Yeah, have fun. Breaking in with Burt Reynolds. The Bride Comes Home. What a great cast, right one. Oh, The Bride Wore Black. Ooh. Bridges of Toko Ri. Oh no, this is getting really hard. British Noir Five Film Collection Volume One and Two are there. It's my first go with two, isn't it? Bloody yeah. hell. Two. That's my... Oh no, my super English accent's coming through. <laughs> You'll never know the difference. I will choose. I will choose them all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bloody. Uh, what do I choose? God, Salamanders and is there? We need to get a five second time in the corner. So it goes beep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to choose British Noir Volume 2 because uh, the guy in the picture kind of looks like the guy from, uh, from like uh, not another teen movie. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Hold on, hold on. I love not another team movie. I've watched it so many times. And not not talking with Chris Evans on, just case you. Know. I know you're talking about you're talking about the other guy, aren't you? Yeah. Uh the blonde guy. Gotta find him or somewhere. Uh there he is. There he is. Yeah, it looks like a more goofy version. It's like, wait, let's go there and what? Let's look at this. They do look alike, actually. I told you. <laughs> Especially I that one with him in the red. I, uh, Cost Boy is a really good one. I like that. It's got uh, Joan Collins in it as well. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I've already chose that one. So you've got, you've got to make your choice. I'm going to pick. Mr. The boy comes you. home. <laughs> hey there, Cinematech. Cinematech, don't choose? say hello to me, so I shall ignore until they don't. <laughs> Cinematech. <laughs> the boy comes home. The bride comes home. I thought you were going to choose Brian Black, actually. So that's the second time you saw it. I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it yet, and even though I've got the radiance. Ooh. British Noir 3. British Noir Collection Volume 3. Broken Lullaby. 
Buck Rogers in the 25th century. Buck Rogers in the 25th century. <laughs> uh, Bust and Loose, Alan Bates, Butley. Well, I always like busting it, so I'm busting loose. I would, I would like to see something like that coming out to the Marrakesh Film Festival. What, what's that? The busting loose? Or bus, oh, definitely bust loose. Yeah, some Richard Pryor stuff. <laughs> you come back from the, you know, from beyond. No, it's yeah, no, uh, like the, uh, like the clones of Bruce Lee. You know what? Well, I've I've never been a fan of Bruce Lee. Uh, I've always been a Bruce Lee fan. You know, I can't remember what his whole name is. Like, you know, because they sound by his uh, actual name there, didn't they? The Hazo or something. I got it wrong. The name. I'm not going to say it. But I mean, do I'm not. I'm a fan of Bruce Lee. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying. I always was a Bruce Lee guy. Um, and Dragon Lee. They were my two guys uh, growing up. Out of them, I enjoyed all the work, but I would always focus on those two. But if I had the choice to go and see like a screening like this I, with Q and A, I'd be all over it in a heartbeat. So I'm very, uh, you know. I had to say something right now. My mom is actually watching right now tonight. So is she? Yes, she is. So I want to say, hey, mom, sexy. I saw you. You are beautiful, my girl. I want some of that. Then I get over to Canada. Love you, mom. Miss you. Can't wait to see you again soon. I want to get you to Morocco uh, because you'd enjoy the hell of it. Hey there, Jason, man. Welcome. Hey, but now you in the house. No, well, I'm glad uh, I mean, you I mean, watching. Now make sure you check out the latest. What the latest? You guys did a video together, right? Like a trailer, like reaction. I'm gonna yeah, check we that did out a trailer reaction to uh, Maxine. Oh, nice. I love trailer reactions. Um, I don't watch it a lot, but you know the good thing is they're kind of like bite sized and you go in and kind of like have fun with them. Yeah, Joe. Sure. So. Ah, okay. One of my childhood favorites here. So it's gonna be an easy one for me this time. Uh, Chomps special edition: The Cabinet of Doctor Caligari, 4K restoration. Cabo Blanco, at the cab. Uh, Caliper Nine, uh, Fern Fernando de Leo, Cannibal Holocaust, aka Camel in the, in the Streets, aka Invasion of the Flesh Hunters, uh, aka way too many titles. Uh, Canyon Passage. What do you choose? I would pick the cabinet of Dr. Caligari because I really enjoyed that. I watched it for the first time last year. Really loved it. It's a fantastic film. It's got like great, like, it's like German Impressionism is amazing and it was such, uh, such an influence on so many other films yeah. in a good way, in a bad I, way. Because if, if you know the ending, then you know that <laughs> uh, it's. I uh, this. Whatever you do, do not buy Cabo Blanca. It's a terrible, uh, it's, I don't know if they updated it, but it was terrible. You could barely hear it. We are doing retrospect on the Sleepway Camp series, which I'm a massive fan of. Ooh. I'm going to surprise Jason with my thoughts on next one. My, my choice is going to be a surprising one to a lot of people. It's Chomps. Uh, Chomps stars Wesley Yuri, who was one of the guys to, uh, to play Jamie on uh, Another World. Nice. Uh, you probably know him best as the lead actor. And the original Toolbox Murders. But uh, for me, Chomps was a, uh, before I saw the movie, was a book that I got from um, from Scholastic Books. If you're from North America, you know Scholastic Books was this like, uh, when you're in high, when you're in. Yeah, you know, we have that over no. Oh, did you have it over there too? Yeah. But the four, like it's the, cool. like four, yeah. like uh, thing and you, at the back, you put your order. Yeah. I was always like ordering so many books. <laughs> That I didn't have enough room, and I'd have to add like a note onto the order. Yeah, a quick, uh, a, a quick uh, bit of history for you: the dog in Chomps is sadly not around anymore. I am. <laughs> that was Dynamite Magazine. Oh my god, I bought so Ooh. many Dynamite magazines too. <laughs> I wish I still had them. This my, that was like my childhood. Uh, there was Don, like I knew Dynamite before, like the Teen Beat or Teen Center, and that any of that type of stuff. It's classic Dynamite magazine was like the bee's knees was the bomb, man. Are you ready for the next line? It yeah. it was a Scholastic, but it was more of a North American one. It was like a teen magazine. Uh, I'd have sometimes yeah. comics, and I had like uh, remember like Superman was on the cover, and like 
Yeah, I'll show oh, you. Okay, so it was so it was a standard kind of teen magazine, but really good. But yeah, but really, really well done, really well written stuff like that. So, like for instance, I had oh, the Hardy Boys. The Hardy Boys were on the cover. Yeah, I had that one. <laughs> uh, I had a bunch of these. I had this one. I too. actually like those covers. Actually, I actually like the uh... the design work, and this was amazing. This was one of my favorites. I had. Oh, for those who don't know, I was a. Yeah, massive... I didn't have that as a teenager. Oh, I, I had that. <laughs> That's a massive, like, listen, Milano freak. Good memories for Vince, man. Good memories. We got here Captain Newman, MD, caravans, career opportunities. Just give me a second to soak it in. Uh, Carmen, this gets hard because we got Carol Lombard, collection one, Carol Lombard, collection two. What do you choose? Hmm. Career opportunities. Can okay, you give me a couple no. of reasons why? <laughs> oh, uh, I can give you a couple of uh, scenes why. All right. Got a quarter? Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. I'm going to choose what I chose when we were doing, when I was going through this before. Carol Lumber Collection Volume mm. 2. I love that one. Love Before Breakfast. Yeah, like all three tells are great. Love Before Breakfast. Oh, yeah, they Princess comes across. I love those sets. So I was in America. I love picking up those sets because I always felt like they were a bargain. And, and they're like those like Warner sets from back there. Remember, you know, like those yeah. the centric sets. It seemed like they took over. Yeah. All right. Carpetbaggers, Cartouche, uh, Cary Grant collection. Oh, the Cat and the Canary. Uh, Catch the Heat, a.k.a. Feel the Heat, and CB4. Mm -hmm. I'm going to choose the Cary Grant collection. Uh, I'm going to pick Cat and the Canary. The Bob Hope version? Yeah, I got the Rally Mesker version, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. I'm gonna say something right now. There's no cat. I did not know Rally Mesker <laughs> made a version of Cat the Canary. <laughs> so I'm like, the guy that made Score. Yeah. <laughs> Full score in. I watched it when I got it, Love and it. I didn't know what to expect from it, and uh -huh. uh, it was like the full one cut and edited version. And I remember just getting to the scene, which I wasn't expecting. Because obviously I picked it up and I thought, oh, yeah, I'm going to see, you know, like women, you know, all this. Oh, Lynn Laura, yeah. She's Lynn Laura's on. You know, yeah. And uh, when it gets to the scene between the two guys, which, don't get me wrong, it doesn't bother me, but I was just shocked because I didn't expect that, you know, in the movie. Oh, right, you right. Right. Uh, um, I do think the movie is a lot better than some people give it credit for. Have people like down on. on on that one. Hey, Ken, welcome, man. Well, so I think, yes. Uh, I don't know if I get it right away. I'm going to try. It depends on, like, uh, what time it comes out. It um, comes out in uh, June. In June? I think. Yeah, I think it's June. They reckon if you order it from the site, they're going to start shipping mid-May. Uh, Nine chance of town, I'll probably it June. Nine chance of town, I'll probably pick it up uh, in, like, in Paris. So I probably won't, like, order uh, from away, but I'll probably pick it up there. Um, that's where I picked up my uh, my my uh, Central World Black and Manuel well, so that. Yeah, it was in mint condition. I saw your video actually on Patreon. Oh, did you? Do you like that? Moving the snapshots and doing the funny yeah, faces while you were doing it. For those that wonder why, like the Central uh, World of Manu Black Manuel, well, I can't ever put that on this channel. So if I see that's on Patreon, guys, <laughs> oh, because you know, you know why. You know, black man. I know. We all know why. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a fantastic one. Where was I at? Well, I was talking about something. I totally forgot what I was doing. Hey, Warner's falling out. Hitcher 4K. The Hitcher 4K is actually done from. Uh, is it Germany that put out, or is? Uh, yeah, Germany released it. Yeah, restorations up. They still can't announce a pre-order. Uh, the store they go to in Paris, uh, to buy a lot of my like boutique label releases, uh, Miluna. Uh, they uh, they actually had the the, the German release there. Change habs. I, uh, I reckon the hitch has been held up because I reckon a super duper limited edition version's coming out 
from uh, in America from Death Crocodile. In a rigid box, <laughs> it's going to be the main selling thing, and they're waiting to July. Who would put and it that's why they bought in second sight to wait. Okay, so second sight is put in the picture in the UK. Who would put it in America, in the United States? Criteria, okay, who, surely. Who would put it out, and who would you want put it out? Because those are two different uh, things. If it's not Criterion, I'd want Criterion to release it. And if and I think, in reality, if it's been released, it might be getting released by... Mm. 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 Raven Banner. <laughs> I would say yeah, the umbrella release. Of yeah, Hitcher but that's Blue Bag. Yeah, people want of Itcher for years. Like some people don't care for it. And, you know, to be honest, like um, the only reason I get the 4K of the Blu ray is more features uh, because, like, the 4K edition, right? But if I yeah. if I second sight is two editions, and they're all the same features, uh, and they re, they rematch to the Blu-ray like like you know like uh, Indicator does right, they re, they got yeah. rematch to four K and rematch to Blu-ray, uh, with, to with four K restoration, uh, and there's a few dollars in difference. I'm gonna pick up Blu-ray. Just a few dollars. So if it's three dollars cheaper, eight K for the hitch. I reckon twenty K. All right. I was saying the other day, but uh, there's going to be a 69k at some point. 69k. The chamber only only in video games. Change of habit. The chance of Jimmy Blacksmith, Charlie Varick. That's my choice for this time. Checkered flag or crash and Le, Le Chevre. And what's your choice, dude? Le Chevre, obviously. Yeah, Brilliant movie. Got a lot of heart, lot of soul. But dude, change of habits there. So let's shove right with a change of habit in the chamber. Can want us to release the devils. Man, if I had that power, I totally would. I love Ken Russell. And the devils is an excellent film. I'm I'm stuck like everybody else says with that two disc BFI. Great release, but still cut. BFI edition. Anybody that, that loves the uh, devils got that one, got that edition right now. I'm praying for another edition to come out. I personally feel like Warner needs to release the Cover Killers. I, I think we need to re get a release. License. It's such a shame, man, because they really need to. What they really need to release, though, is a movie that's they never will. been released. They will release ever. The Devils. Never say never. Every movie that we feel won't get released eventually does at some point. And it's true. I think you know? one of these days it's going to happen. And they're going to finally release Halloween. I think Halloween is going to get a release from 1978. Really? I, I really do. I know. We've been waiting for a while. Things are going to happen, man. Oh, oh. oh wow. That would be like Jim come true. All right. What is Look this? This first Nasty Women is a great set, almost 90 films. Holy crap. What China. I've never heard of that. Simmons first nasty women. I actually really cool. So I mainly him looked at this actually. Clash of the Wolves and where the North begins. Clay pigeons and clockers. I'll bring bring this one in actually for, for a view. Uh, China was good. Four to six, fourteen oh, hours. Oh, right there. What did you? It was right there in front of me. I've rarely seen films. Uh. And there's that like of like uh it, it's it's such a cool different like uh genre stuff. So we got like protest films, slapstick rebellion, suggestive gender play, oh, labor strikes, uh bacon, weaponized un inedible desserts, explosive chimneys, electrocute the police force, uh assume a range of identities. It's just really fun. I'll say this some of the South will get released at some point. I can guarantee it. It's already got a real. It's already got Blu-ray release somewhere. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, like the Devils, I can see going coming out, but I will say this: the Devils will come out before Science Southwell. Oh, uh, of course it will, because the Devils, you know, Warner doesn't. Warner's about the money. Uh Disney's also about the money, but Disney's about the image. 
I think, uh, you know, I think we've got to remember it's times change constantly. You never know. You just never do. Like there's films that people said would never get released and we're talking about really controversial ones and they've been released uncut, you know, um, and stuff like that. So you just never know. I try to think, hey, there's a possibility, but I mean, unless I think, it's like full on snuff or something, I highly doubt, you know. <laughs> no, I think, well, I mean, like, and there's certain movies like that just won't get released for, for other reasons. Like, and we know, we won't, we won't talk yeah. about them. But, uh, you know, one had a famous, like, a semi-famous horror director, right? Um, yeah. But, um, and it's a crime scene, so, they, you know, they can't release it. But uh, aside from that, something like that, uh, then, you know, I can see most things getting released. Uh, you know, that should get a Blu-ray 4K remaster right now. It's a shitty movie, man. <clears throat> Like, uh, uh, to take that other stuff aside, it's a like crap film. I uh, like. Well, we got member. It's if we got members. If it's released on DVD, it's already technically been released. So if you can't get on another format, it doesn't matter. You can buy it on that format. Yeah, for movie like Sailor was <laughs> one of the devil. That is true, actually. Well, I think it comes down to a lot of the name, like the Sailor's Pasolini. If I'm if I, if I remember correctly, uh, I think you're right about that. Actually, you know, if you're a famous. Uh, well respected director, your stuff's more likely to be released, even if it's uh, really twisted. And Russell's getting there, but like Russell still has a bit of like you know, he has clout, but not the clout that a Pasolini has. Exactly. Well, yeah. So we got the I clock maker. Same I just think I just think it's one of those things where, from day to day, you can't tell. You know, like Paul's saying, in some ways we're living in the best time from physical media because so much has been released now. Oh wow! They should never release it. That's the thing, right? Like MGM should never. I release reckon it. they should. I reckon what they need to do, MGM, and they re-release it with a Blu-ray with them with uh, the whole of MGM at the beginning. Going, we're sorry, but this has been wanted out on Blu-ray, and we desperately need the money because we're going under because we sold the rights to um, James Bond or whatever it was, and now we have to release these movies on Blu-ray. Accept it and move on. That's what they need to say. I honestly think what they should do is Bill from uh, Code Red should have released it. He had the right yeah, attitude. If Bill had to go, he could just go and get lost. <laughs> he delves in, a, delves in the deluxe hard box with a slipcover over the hard box with air fresheners and postcards inside. That's an umbrella. Really nice, actually. Uh, I, remember, I love that. that. I should get my tank girls set soon from him. Does that one have the air freshener with it? I think it does. Uh, yeah, I probably probably does nice Clockmaker of St. Paul, Cobra Woman, Code of Silence, Cold Sweat, College, or Columbo the 1970s, season one to seven. I'll let you go first. Mm. I'm going to go with Columbo. Uh, just one more thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I bust your key in college. I like Code of Silence, but yeah, and I own it. But when I rewatched it, uh, I actually wasn't as fond on it as I initially Yeah, when was. I was a kid, I loved Code of Silence, but as I got older, I was like, mm. Henry Silva's good, but he's not in enough. And uh, mm. the lead girl's really good, though. Uh, she played like Miss Ellie in like the uh, the Ewings, like the uh, when they did like a young. I version. think what I like about that film the most is the thing that obviously happens you know, at the beginning. I always loved that it was, wasn't like this cool. Uh, calm, evil villain kind of thing. It was just some messed up, you know, situation. That's true. Oh. Come September, coming apart, coming home, computer chess. Oh boy, computer chess. No. <laughs> the confidence, the conformance. Oh, amazing, isn't it? Uh, I'm going with coming apart. I, that's a hard one. Conformance is here. Fantastic film by, by Berlucci. Uh, but I love coming home too. Shag it. I've never seen it, but I would buy this in a second if it was in the store. Computer chess. Why not? Yeah. Sounds like a cool documentary. That's Get my pop projector out. Hey, you've got one. Don't you? You've no, you I don't you? 
I like, I'm like, you do is buy one and then put the tape around your glasses. I need a like, I'm geeky enough to have stuff like that, but I don't. Mm. Convoy. I remember we, the song so used to show like clips of it on Disney, like Disney Sunday night, Sunday with Disney show, Disney World show. And uh, when I was a kid, and uh, yeah. let's just say it's not like if I had to rank all my, all my Disney films, uh, never was one of the, those that like was never like was the live action like animation hybrid and had a couple okay sequences in it, but it's not like you know, it's not Peter Pan or the Aristocats or something like that. Mm. I think people that want that just want that for the uh, at the point, like, oh, they're never gonna put out. And if they put out, they're like, oh, they put out, but maybe it's going to be cut or something like that. And if it's not cut, mm -hmm. they put out, they put like a disclaimer, which, which is, you know, what you normally do, rather than cut it, right? Put disclaimer at the beginning. Yeah. Then people complain and say, oh, they put disclaimer at the beginning, you know. <laughs> How'd they do I that? I just think, I yeah, think, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I feel, yeah. I just feel like everything should be released at some point. And that's all. Whether it gets released or not is one thing. I just, Think everything that's uh, part of history of cinema should be released, even. But I do think within reason, and I do think it should be explained within reason. Like, I would love it if they released something like Song of the South, and they had a, and they had a proper commentary on it, talking about how it affects people. Hey, so it's more like a history thing as well. Do you know what I mean? That'd be amazing. You put like have somebody come up in the beginning. Have like I would like get somebody to come up and do like an introduction. Uh, like yeah. put it put into a into a circle context stuff like that. That that's that's what I want to say. Um, yeah. Because I find like when you when you well, then people can can you know can judge for themselves when they watch the film. Exactly, uh, and that's the end of the context. day. It boys unique and different, and that's what should be. But it's uh it's it's not one of the better Disney films. But you know, eventually, you know, if people are gonna want it. People are gonna want it. Uh, yeah. Congress dances, convoy. We got a big old convoy. The counterfeit traitor. The crime of the century. I love this cover, man. The Crimson River. Oh, Crimson River is so good. A dandy and aspic. You may choose. Ooh, I think I'm going to pick crime of the century. I'm probably going to choose. I thought I was going to choose convoy, but I really did like Crimson River. Uh, and did the, I like the sequel, too. Um. Mm. They made a TV series of that too, didn't they? Like, oh, I believe so. Yeah, because that's Castle, I think. Is it Castle? In that one, yeah, it's Castle. All right, Dark Intruder, which itself, as I was talking to my dad the other night, is actually you know, it's uh, it was a TV pilot, yeah. Uh, da Dawson City of Frozen Time, The Day and the Hour, The Day the Earth Caught Fire, obviously, Malcolm Shays. Uh, Dead Heat on America Round, a great movie. <clears throat> Death Wish 4K UHD. I'm going to choose Death I Wish. Pick, are you going to pick Death Wish? Yep. I'll pick The Dark Intruder. <clears throat> I'm kind of surprised. Hmm. There's a lot of these, man. We can't go through these. <laughs> okay, here's a really hard choice. Death Wish 4. Death Wish 5. A delicate balance, deliver us. Delo deluge, desire. Your choice. Death Wish Four. I've always loved that one the most, to be honest. Oh really? Yeah, I've always liked Death Wish Three and Four more than the others. I think. I think because it gets ridiculous with them with them going against complete gangs and stuff. Death Wish Five was shot in Cannes, actually. Uh, Al Waxman, later Waxman's in it. Um, I never liked that one, not because it was a bad film, but I just felt like Charles Bonds was a bit too old for the role at that point. Yeah, make me need to slap you for for <laughs> Waxman film. Oh, hey, sweetheart. Maybe I'm going to choose uh, Desire, uh, Dietrich and Cooper. Oh, nice you're, you're serious? Oh. Get up there, sweetheart. Can't get up there. No, no, no. no. Is that is that Pixie Oreo? It's Pixie Oreo. You want to see her? Yeah, go on. Hey, she gave a wave as well. Oh, she's adorable. You're adorable. You know that you just you just woke up, didn't you? I can tell you just woke up because you're getting all rambunctious. Are you getting rambunctious, my kitty cat? 
com a outra coisa. Desperately Seeking Susan, The Devil's Eight, Devil's Brigade, The Devil's Kiss, The Devil's Needle and Other Tales of Vice and Redemption, and The Diabolical Dr. Z. And I shall let you go first. I will pick The Devil's Needle and Other Tales of Vice and Redemption. It's such a good tell. You have that one, right? It's such a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a really good release. I think of anything that like was one of the reasons he did that. Uh, you know that like line of films they did with the uh, oh yeah, get our scare things and stuff like that. Mm. That's great. Uh, sorry, I get I got distracted. Uh, that's what I'm going to choose. Definitely seeking Susan. What do you think? And kid and pity and Pixario is choose that as well. So there we go. You get. Let me some early Madonna. There you go. The Diamond Wizard in 3D, aka the Diamond. Diary of a Mad Housewife. Dad must have that. Oh, my dad's got on this. If he doesn't own this one, it's on his list. Die Screaming Mariana. Marianne, sorry. Dinosaurus. Dirty O'Neill. O'Neill. The Love Life of a Cop. And Disrupt. Disrupt. Dis, disputed Passage. Why do you I choose? Picked Dice, I picked Die Screaming Marianne. Really? That's like people. I, I honestly think it's one of Pete Walker's worst films. Do you know oh, why? Like because um, cause, uh, Susan George is a ninja and her name in it is Marianne. And uh, Frank Landers always shouts out, Marianne, Marianne. So I've got a connection with it. I, I call her Linda Day George. I mean, I totally messed it up there. Susan George. I love Susan George. But. Uh, uh, maybe I didn't. Maybe I just see, didn't see enough Susan George. <laughs> uh, mm. For my dad, I'm going to choose. She was in EastEnders. She was in EastEnders at one point. Which character was she? Oh, she played love interest for um, oh, what's his name? Uh, oh, the one who was with Irene. You know, I had, uh, you know the one who had. Um, oh, what was his name? Uh, he was, uh, he was, he played the father of um, uh, Mike McClatchen and uh, brother in it, Simon. I don't remember the name. <laughs> if anybody's an East uh, fan, they remember the name, just to shout it out. Divorced no, that Dads? That sounds hilarious. Uh, Doc, Actually, that does look good. <laughs> the Doll and I Don't Want to Be a Man. Um, the Ernst Lubitsch collection. Um, the Don is dead. Don't tell her it's me. Uh, the boyfriend school. Do much. I'll go first this time. I pick an Ernst Lubitsch because as we've already, uh, you know, learned, I'm a massive fan. Okay, I'll pick the Don is dead. Are you not picking? Don't tell her it's me. <laughs> Steve Kubrick <Goodberg> classic. <laughs> nope. I think because I have Pixie here, every once in a while I get a second choice. Like, <laughs> oh, I see. So she gets to pick. She gets to choose. Double Walker, La Doule, Downtown 81, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, The Dr. Fibes Double Feature, The Draft the Drafton's Daughter. Yeah, I'm going to choose uh, the Doctor Five's double picture, and I'm going to choose uh, it's John Paul Bamondo. So I got to got to pick me some Bamondo, man. Mm. Guys, feel free to play along and actually give your choices. I would love to hear your choices. But... Yeah, and we have two other. Like we're not going to get through all these because we got two other freaking companies to uh, to look at. Yeah, it's like Tonight. fifteen. I think it's like twenty-two pages. Are you serious? We're not doing twenty pages. Yeah. Because it's That's over madness. 700 titles. That's March Madness. <laughs> <laughs> there's, seven, there's 700 titles in the sale. Are you serious? That's a lot. Yeah. Uh, I got you. Uh, Billy Rob. What for one? The Dumb Girl of Patricia. Well, I'm sure she loved the, that title for <laughs> Eagle and the Hawk. Eden and After. Uh, El Cortez. I like that cover. And uh, Elena. Hmm. Eagle and the Hulk. 
I think um, that's you've chosen one. I was going to choose, so I will pick Eden and After because uh, Elaine Robe Grillo. Uh, I hope I got the name right. Okay, let's switch over to what I do Cinema Tech, just buy from uh, eBay. That's what I do. <laughs> Which one? Oh, for uh, Kino titles. Sometimes I find them on eBay and get them. No, oh, Kino's like, and I love their stuff too. Kino's not fancy when it comes to the releases, they don't have to. There's no like you know slip cover of over hard box over whatever, uh, but yeah, it's listening. quality stuff. We're diving over to indicator for a minute to go. We'll come back here and after, but let's look at the indicator sale. See what's no. still available because it's a, sh a much shorter sale. Uh, let's see how many pages there are for indicators. Eight pages. We'll see what's sold out. We'll do the same thing here. Uh, I won't say the titles because you can see them on, the, on there as well. But okay. uh, you can uh, give your choice first. Oh, uh, I pick five against the house. Great title. I'm gonna pick. Uh, I'm gonna get depressing and choose ten Rennington plays. Oh, nice. Um, all right, we got a dandy and aspect here coming up. Coming up. See, you're gonna get some crossovers here, guys. Uh, a fair and Trinidad. That's what I was going to choose. Now I'm going to have to go with 711 Ocean Drive. Hmm. My turn to go Age first. And I'm glad it is because Age of Consent. Love that film. No. All right. Bell, uh, Bartley. Bartleby. Good movie, actually. Yeah, surprisingly good. Your turn. Damn it. Uh, Black Magic Rights. Uh, I don't know where to go with go with Berserker Birdie because Birdie's such an unusual film, That's and uh, I really enjoyed it. I had this like set come from Mill Creek like, when I was, I was doing stuff from Mill Creek, and uh, and they had like four like they were kind of like you know war adjacent films, and Birdie was one of them. Mm. Uh, I got to choose Birdie; it's just such a good film. <laughs> <laughs> Since it's my first go, when Black Magic Race has already been said, I'll choose Blonde Venus. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess I pick uh, Black Magic Rights again. <laughs> All right, though, so you got some good stuff here. I'll, I know what Malcolm's going to choose, I can tell you right now. It's his favorite film. Oh, yeah. His favorite uh, film. <laughs> yeah, that's the one for a white bit pick. Uh, Bloody New Year. Oh, I'm choosing Body Double because it's one of my favorite movies. Uh, I'll win you over, man. Don't make me like do a sexy dance. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, here, uh, Buchanan Rides Alone, Randall Scott films, classic. Oh, nice. They are really good, these films, actually. Uh, yeah, breakout. It's one of those times when the director and actor gets together and it just works. Uh, you got to go first here. They're just that they were separately released in each in each um you know, each area, basically. That's all it is. Official releases in America, official release in the UK. Um Cash on Demand. Yeah. That was amazing. Well, Malcolm said there's no difference in the in, in the releases. Uh, right. Uh, I guess Carlos Um My first here, I guess I'm going with Christine. I love Christine. Mm. Um, Charlie Varick. Great film. Your first choice here, man. Hmm. I should pick I uh, Cold Eyes Affair, but I'm going to pick City Affair. I really thought you picked Cisco Pike. It's a really good film. Um, mm. I'm going to pick Cold Eyes Affair, but Cisco Pike, if you've already got Cold Eyes Affair. Definitely a recommendation. This is a really hard one. <laughs> uh, uh, who goes for, do I go first this time? Crap. No, I don't. Yeah. It's a shoot. Uh, I'll, I'll Comanche Station. I'm going to go with the Randall Scott ones. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do Connecting Mumps. Ah, well, 
you get to go first this time. I hope you don't choose one I'm going to choose. <laughs> Corruption. <clears throat> As you guess her, uh, indicators are really fast with shipping, actually. Um, Malcolm Which just right. said, the creatures the world forgot. No, so I said I'm, corruption. So now I have to give my choice. I think since Malcolm has already chosen the creatures the world forgot. <laughs> okay, now I'll pick the creatures the world forgot. Actually, actually, I dug that a lot more than Malcolm did, apparently. Oh, dear. Not a great film, but actually was fun. Maybe because you hated it so much by the time I saw it, I was like, oh, it's not bad. And probably, yeah, because you probably weren't expecting as much. All right. Your choice. That's uh, my choice. Uh, I will pick Decision at Sundown. All right, you got into the round of Scott. So, Devil in a Blue Dress, great film. Well, I'm obviously picking Enter Santa. Because I uh, love me some Santa. I will pick Drive a Crooked Road because I really like that film. Rolling sets are getting slim on numbers. That's a good thing to keep an eye on, by the way. Drive a Crooked Road is a fantastic film, by the way. Um, your first go here, man. Escape the Fog. Really good. Isolar Mars. But easily, Fanatic is the second choice. But Eyes of Mars. Picks the Oreo, picks Fanatic. Ooh. Picks the Oreo, picks it all. All right. I'm going to choose, uh, although I don't remember the movie that well, uh, Footsteps in the Fog. A massive Sue Granger. Ooh, nice. I'm going to pick uh, Fatherland. Fatherland. Grandfatherland. All right. I'm going to I'm going to pick Fragment of Fear. I thought that was a really good one. It is a great film. I'm going to choose Force Ten for now. I'm going to be kind of blatantly boring here. Since it's my first go in this one, I'm going to pick From Hollywood to Heaven. And I'm not going to just pick it for me. He's not here tonight or not here. He's not speaking yet. I'm going to pick it for George. George, this one's for you, man. From Hollywood to Heaven, he the last that, escape right? film of the Ramon. He loved it so much he sent it to me. Which I'm glad it and me and him danced around the house when that was coming. We did so. Thank you so much, George. All seriousness. I pick uh, Golden of Stone. Oh man, I think it's weird. I think it's weird that the US version so that quicker than the UK ones. Well, I guess the, for a, a surprise, you know, the US maybe more uh in tune like with like you know maybe body filmmaking <laughs> right now. yeah maybe i don't know it's just that's it's a, just strange point. maybe there's a little more uh uh like boutique label people there right now or maybe they're just excited it might be, actually you know what it might be thanks to places like all bit and maybe it's in a lot because there's a lot of, there is a lot of movie places in america if you're in the right places you know like um specialty kind of ones Great, so it could be Oh, there's there's actually people think that UK is ratings logo, so they buy the US. That's true too. Oh, that's the thing is that it's only on the J card, so they'd uh people are wrong. <laughs> yep. Was it my choice? Or your, no, it's your choice. Uh oh, it's my choice. Um oh. Girl Stroke Boy. I really like that. I thought that was a good one. And she's guest was coming to dinner. Because I really love that movie. You know what Girl Stroke Boy is about, right? It's about oh. uh, two parents. Uh, they're middle-aged parents. And they're, te they're teen, uh, they're teen uh, you know, uh, son, as they, as they think. Is coming to visit, but because the person, because this was in seventies, it's very, I think it's very ahead of its time, because yeah. a lot of ways it's it says a lot about troubles people have today with being who they are. But at the same time, it's so beautifully done 
because the parents really struggle with it. But by the time you get to the end, you can tell that there's more of a connection between them and his girl, the, the girlfriend, as well as their uh, child, you know? Nice. I so like it's that. ahead of his time. It sounds it. And like, mm. totally horrible. I'm going to, uh, for my choice here, uh, yeah, I'm going to choose Happy Birthday to me. I thought it was going to choose Hardcore, but I'm going to choose Happy Birthday to me. Hmm. Hardcore is a beautiful one. It's so disturbing, but such a beautiful story about a father. It's so of its time, too, because when you think of it now, like, oh, my God, I can't my daughter. She did adult yeah. films. I can't believe she did. <laughs> like, it's not like, it's not like, you're not like, oh, my God. Like, it's not like an eight millimeter thing. <laughs> no. But because uh, nowadays, we, you know. Yeah. Nowadays, dad, she, would be like, yay. It's like, my dad did OnlyFans. Like, okay. <laughs> How much money did you? Oh, if you're, <laughs> you made how much money? That. Imagine if, imagine if tomorrow you woke up and you found your dad and I and you found you. Like, oh god! How would I find my dad? <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> just saying. You're the one who said it. No, I just, I just like, um, no, he finds his daughter. So but you're totally twisting the concept. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I, I'm choosing. Oh uh, God, uh, Hamza. Uh, no, Hamza. I'm going to choose housekeeping. I actually like the film a lot. Uh, I'm monster because it's hilarious. <laughs> it is actually. Oh crap! Uh, I will it. pick irreversible. Yeah, I'll take inseminate. I can watch. I don't know if I can watch irreversible again. It's it's uh, terrible for those two right next to each other on the list. It's it is really actually, but they're doing up. I'll pick. I'm going to choose. Even though the sets here, I got to choose Jagged Edge. It's such a great movie. Yeah, Jagged Edge. That's that's if nobody if people haven't seen that, you need to watch it. It's a wonderful. Um, I'm gonna pick the John Fall to Columbia. Call some after hours. I actually was gonna start that on my Patreon, where I talked about like films I could not put on here, and I'm still Ooh. thinking about. So uh, that could happen. That'd be interesting. You go first, man. I like Sleep Park. I actually really like that. I thought uh, Susan Sarandon I mean, the photo were great in that movie. It's been a while, but I'm going to choose Lilith. Uh, I love Gene Seberg. Mm. Cool. Okay, I get to go first, so oh, what could it be? What could I choose? It could be anything. I'm going to choose Mae West <laughs> in Hollywood. 1932, 1943. Uh, it. It's a wonderful song. Mad Dog Morgan. Are you gonna oh, go for this? My favorite set here. I'm gonna pick my favorite set here. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna pick Maniac. Great film. There's another. That's a film with some where it just shows. <laughs> I think American thought the same thing actually. Yeah, Lola Rona was a snoozer, but one of the big things about it was it was called into the booklet inside the first horror of a first horror film in Mexico to ever have sound. I don't know if it was first film in general, just first horror film. So it kind of stands out in history, but it's a boring, boring movie. Well, I'll uh, pick the, the Michael J. Murphy set because I'm actually very curious about it and I would love to own it. Anybody out there got an extra Michael J. Michael J. Murphy set they want to <laughs> throw this way? I would gladly appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know what that accent is, but uh, I don't know what show. I don't know. I would own it. I'm going to choose Ministry of Fear here. Oh, that's Probably. a good one. Ministry of Fear is really good. I got the criteria. I'm going to pick because you didn't, Morocco. Well, I kind of did. I lived there. So <laughs> I figured I did my part. Oh, but it would have shown your faith in if you'd have picked it. I showed my faith in you that I didn't. <laughs> it's your choice, man. Uh, Murder by Contract. That was that one really surprised me. I really liked it. I got to choose Mr. Sardonicus. Uh I like this film a lot, and it freaks me out. Hmm. 
I know what we're needing. Oh, I like that also. <laughs> I could definitely put that into a costume after hours. Definitely. So, what do you choose here, man? Uh, no, uh, no, not like yeah, not a thousand eyes. Not a thousand eyes. You now choose Night of the Demons, which has an amazing cover, uh, and the amazing box. You know that limited edition, the one that everybody has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I missed out on that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm a dick. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna choose Night Demon. It's 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 a great film. Mm. It's like three or four versions of it on too, man. Even on the regular. That's version. incredible, isn't it? Uh, only. Uh, I'm gonna go with um, uh, uh, Pastor Hall. Looks interesting. So uh, I'm going to choose that. I don't that. know if I share pastel. I might not have it. Oh. What do you choose here? Uh, I'm going to pick the uh, Power S T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll choose Funny Swoop. Not a bad film, actually. I'll choose for Malcolm here. Malcolm's choosing road games. Rich, fr no, Atkins. no, I'm not picking road games. He's totally picking road games, but guys, no. It's so one time we I'll both picked the same game. movie. No, no, I'll pick the Bobby Lord collection. That was a great one, actually. Samuel Fuller one's really good too. Captain Holly was really good. I need to get into those Samuel Fuller ones. I've got the box set. I just haven't got into them. Yeah, see, I had the Sony set yeah. before. Sony had put out a Samuel Fuller set. It's the same stuff with, with the features. So uh, I got the, I, I'd seen the films before, but I bought you know right away. I'm a massive Samuel Fuller fan, so that's it. Uh, uh, Alan, yes, I've I've seen I've watched the Kristen DeBell film called called Alice in Wonderland. It is quite the film. Hot for yeah. the kitties. I'm going to pick Satan's Slave. I will go with the uh, Samuel Fuller one here, Storyteller Volume 2. Scam Sheet's pretty good. And, uh, you know, I do like uh, Shaft Proof. Mm. Okay, my turn. So I'm going to choose Scene of Evil. Oh, good choice. I'm going to pick The Secret Ceremony. Another good choice. Um, what do you choose here? Uh, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna pick The Standing Long Adventures. Someone to watch? No, Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger. Underrated Sinbad. Film. Oh, good one. And oh, God, this is hard. I'm gonna guess. I guess I'm gonna go st suddenly last summer. I was between that and Sweet Charity, but I'm gonna choose suddenly last summer. Great Elizabeth Taylor film. Oh, nice. I'm gonna pick State of Union. Want to get some oh, Tracy and Hepburn? Some quality stuff. There's great. Like, this is, like, guys, like, these are great. We're so lucky. Uh, so much of this. So much good stuff here. Uh, we're so, like, blessed, like, to be, like when it comes to, like, collecting right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you remember, I've got all these boutique labels, and they're not El Cheapo either, you know, when they're actually remastering stuff. As in the mm -hmm. DVD days, you had so many that weren't remastered. I remember you get them. You're like, he was. Like, it'd be like you know, flipping the, you know, flipping the kind of whether it's gonna you're gonna be able to like watch it or not. It's gonna be. It's gonna exactly. be too soft to see. Exactly. Uh, I'll pick out of his travels. Are you sure you don't get the tear? I'll, I'll give you another chance. Chance, 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 chance. No, I did not like that. I did not like the tear. Taste of fear. That's a good one. You chose the best one. Taste of Fear is the second best. <laughs> uh, here you go. This is your second chance for the Anderson tapes, dude. <laughs> well, I'll take it. The answer to that is no, because it's got this a brilliant title on this line, and that's the big hate. Oh, great, great film. Can't go wrong with that. But there's another brilliant title, The Beast Must Die. Because what other film, guys, what other film would give you the werewolf minute it is time now 
for the werewolf minute. You have 60 seconds to decide which of these people is the werewolf. Counting down now. It's a great, it's a great, it's a great moment in cinema. Yeah. 5,000 Fingers is the favorite of Sven Gulli. Oh, really? Oh, he's a good one. That's a good time. All right, here you go. Okay. Um, is Blood of Man Show the second one? Wow. Uh, I thought Brides was second. Or is it the third one? It's third one. Okay. Well, I don't pick that then. Um, Too late. <laughs> you said, came out of your yeah. mouth. That's such a choice. I'll pick the. I picked the boulder. All right. Uh, Boar's a great one, actually. Um, it's got a little bit of a long title, but actually it's a cool little film. Uh, the Bingo Long, Traveling Ulster, and Motor Kings. So that's actually pretty cool. Very cool. Now you get to the good for films. Thanks. So I'm, uh, I'm not going to pick Castle for because I'm Malcolm wants to choose that one. So I will, so I will sacrifice. I will choose the brides of Fu Manchu. Oh, pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I picked the camp on Blood Island then. Oh, that's, that is a really good movie. That is an underrated film, actually. Was this Millions Dead Malcolm? When's the VS sale? It's already going VS on. Not right now, D-Blaze. Uh, we actually talked about at the beginning of the video. There was a... Uh, there's a partner label sale, and uh, there is a umbrella sale going on right now. There's 40 odd titles in the partner label stuff, and there is there's only around 13 in the umbrella in the bridal sale. It's only doing that umbrella for a while. Uh, the umbrella has are really good packages, like on their own site, like really great stuff. So I recommend that. Yeah, I agree. Hey. There's quite a few sales going on actually. Uh, I just chose I like four, the man. I got to choose the collector. You know, it's one of my favorites, man. Mm. I'm going to go first here, and I'm going to choose. Oh, I guess it's hard. Uh, these are some good titles. Uh, I'm going to choose the Crimson Kimono. Actually, that's one of my uh, one of my favorite Sammy Fuller films. <clears throat> Ooh, very nice. I'm going to pick The Damned. Good movie. And a double, and the first Hammer one to come out of the sets that actually had a double disc. Oh, nice. I'm assuming you didn't watch your set yet, then. <laughs> Have you? What's that? Have you watched your set yet on this one? Uh, no. Yeah, when you get to it, so that's pretty cool. Um, your uh, choice here? I, I'm going to pick uh, The Day of the Dolphin. I am going to pick... It, it's it, there's some fun titles, man. There's some concerning titles, considering you're hoping that's just OP and that companies are going to stick with stick in the partner label. But uh, we'll see as we go through. Um, I'm gonna pick the cast. Uh, I can see all the partner labels being gone soon, and just tons of sub labels. Hmm. I'm going to pick the Devil's Men. That's something to talk about. That's something we can have a conversation on, actually. Yeah. I'm going to choose the, the choose the face of Fu Manchu, which is a, another fantastic one with, by Don Char Sharp. You love that one, didn't you? You had the choice of the good Fu Manchu, then. <laughs> Neither. <t> oh. <laughs> you thought it was just Franco, didn't you? You thought it was just Franco. Yeah, I did. <laughs> no, I did. That's why I didn't pick it. No, it's Don Sharp. So, uh, the face of Fu Manchu and the bride are the two uh, good ones. Yeah, and I like Franco, but I'm honest, right? Yeah, true. Um, uh, like gonna... I get to go first this time. I'm and I get the I Garment know. Jungle. <laughs> you got the whole trilogy, didn't you? Oh, I, I got I got it when it came out initially. I got the sexy set with the book. Oh no, I mean in the I mean in picking on here to die for the uh, for, for, yeah, I mean for when the... we've gone down the lines, so you've ended up getting all three, right? I don't think that I think that one's come up yet, has it? Hmm. Uh, the Garment Jungle's good, uh, the one I'll pick. That's a great choice, actually. Delizia Cobb's really great in that film. And on this one, I'm going to pick the lineup because I really like that. I'm going to go with the lady from Shanghai. Yeah. I love the film. It's a great That's film, a and it's such a weird title because Reed Hayworth and Orson Welles were a couple. And 
they made this film when they were like when they're breaking up and you can kind of tell it when you're watching yeah. the film um but it's such such a beautiful film too like the mirror sequence is, is gorgeous and be like stolen so it's things. not one of those films then where they're trying to make someone look like they're from shanghai when they're not i don't think so actually uh like there's part of it on the boat and there's the part on the hmm. yeah have you, you haven't seen it you should really check it out yeah i haven't seen it but i know it's a classic like at the end of it, like if you ever seen, it, it's a weird show. Enter, you know, Enter the Dragon, right? The big yeah. mirror sequence, Enter the Dragon. Uh, well, kind of yeah. comes from from Shanghai. Later, did the, that's okay. that's where the mirror sequences come from. Yeah, I own it. It's in my watch pile, isn't it? Uh, for, uh, but you know what it's like. Some of you don't know where to get from. Especially now, you're getting a, a lot of stuff that you're uh, on the go. So. Yeah. Started packing today as well, so. Congratulations on that, by the way. Okay. Okay. Malcolm's going to be stuff from different location. Yeah, I'm going to be. Uh, I'm, okay, guys, I'm going to tell you right now. Aaron won't be the only one abroad. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to be filming directly from. Get this. It's going to blow your mind. The Amazon jungles of Italy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm moving there. You yeah, get it. You'll see me in a different location. So <laughs> he's like, sli you, I'll be doing a video, and all of a sudden, like, right up here, <laughs> from up here, from behind, <laughs> it's Malcolm and a ninja outfit. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And be like, with like heavy river. Yeah. We like ninja sex party, right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, mine and Mr. Uh, Holmes for sure here. And my first choice here, I'm going to pick the new Centurions. I actually like the film. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Uh, I'm going to pick The Night of the Following Day because I did like that movie. That's a really good film, actually. I actually yeah. kind of thought you'd pick National Health, though. Yeah, I would have done, but if it went on the same line. <laughs> uh, let's see what you pick here. Oh, I don't know, man. It's a hard one. <laughs> I'm going to pick I'm gonna pick Night of the Hundred. Night of the Hundred, are you sure? Ah. Uh, I'm going with it. I, I, I'm locked in. Final answer. No, no locked in. Let's see. I think I'm going to pick. I think I'm going to pick nine hundred four K. Oh, there we go. Because you go. got the four K and got the Blu-ray, so that's that's true. Yep. As you can see, one of the four Ks, US four Ks, I already saw that. And after it, like somebody said, you know, okay, it's because of this, the logo thing. I bet you that's why it is too. Probably. Which is silly, really, because, uh, like you said, it's only on the J card. All right. You got your choice? The uh, Odessa I'm going to choose the PEMI organization, which I think is really low, Ooh. low, actually, in stock right now. Nice. All right. It is your choice. Oh, yeah. No, it's my choice, right? Uh, no, I pick. For, uh, yeah, I pick first. So you pick next. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna pick the arrow of the V. Uh, it's not. It's one of my least favorites uh, of his. Uh, pumpkin eater, actually. I'll choose the pumpkin eater and Bancroft. I I pick uh, pillow book. I actually left that there because I need. <laughs> I pick it. Oh man, are you serious? Oh you go. no. You go first. Uh, too. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, what, what would I pick? I think I'm going to pick the reckless moment. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick the the ex, the bonus features on the R of the V. Oh, nice! Because it does have good bonus features. Uh, I will choose. Oh, geez, okay. Uh, okay. Crap. Uh, Scarlet Empress. I love Marlene Dietrich. Like if that doesn't come through tonight. Oh, good one. Really should have. I'm going to pick uh, the Shiver the Vampire. Good title. One of his best, actually. Okay, it's your Ooh. turn now. I picked the Sniper. I will now pick the Shiver the Vampire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but I get to choose first here, and I am. Oh, God damn, it's a Dietrich film here. That's a good one. Cool. Uh, I'm going to pick the Snorkel. 
Oh, that's what I was going to pick, actually. But, I, but I'll pick the oh, nature. Oh, if you one. picked it, I'll pick a different one. Okay, I'll pick I, the Stone I'll pick, I picked the Stone Killer. Oh, good title. I All right, you're going here. That's a good choice. I'm going to choose the Tall T, actually. I really like that film. Nice. All right. I will go with Glenn Ford, the undercover man. Oh, nice. I'll go with um, the Valdez Horses. Good title. I actually have the keynote that one. Hmm. I'm not. I'm going to. I'm going to pick the wild one because I actually was surprised by that. Uh, I am going to pick Pixie. <laughs> Ah, uh, they might be giants. Fantastic film, but with George C. Scott and Joanna. That is a good one. That's actually super, that was really good. But uh, okay. for here, I'm going to pick the Sir with Love. The movie makes me cry every time I watch it. I'm going to uh, pick the tight spot. I bet you are. <laughs> <laughs> like that, I like that tight spot. Uh. Uh, I'll pick track 29 because it's a very weird film. Track 29? Oh, I will pick Ori off the, off the keyboard. And, uh... <laughs> Sorry, my baby. I'm going to choose Torture Garden. I love the movie, actually. Louise. Uh, I'm going to pick <laughs> Torture Vampires. Oh, Here's nice. I think I, I'm going to pick the 4K of uh, <laughs> Torture Vampires. All right. You go first. Mm. Universal Noir 2. I'm going to go with number one. I do like number one. All right. Pick out a five this time. Okay. Um, Oh, short time. Oh. uh, I really like yesterday's enemy. But I think I'm going to choose Wolf, which is a boring, boringly obvious choice. But I'm oh, just, I'm a James Spader fan. Oh, well, I'm going to pick Young Winston. I like that. For those that don't know, or mentioned in TV series, it was good. It was a good film. Uh, my dad's name is Win. It's not Winston without the S. It's Winton. My, my dad's name is Win. My my grandfather's name is Win. Win. That was his first name. I'm mean, no Glenn. Winton. My my dad's name is Glenn. But my grandfather uh, is Winton. Oh, okay. So your grandfather was called Winton. That was his name. He was that was, a, that was uh, his first name. That's his first name. He was a carpenter. Uh, built like wow. hospitals and stuff like that. Nice, Winton. I actually like that. I can imagine that standing out more nowadays if someone was called that now. Are we on to? Are we on to the big sale? Are we on yep. to? No, 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 no. 35 pages. How many? 35. We'll do the first five. All right. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go first here. I'll pick <laughs> Shaska one, too. What's your choice? <laughs> I think I'm going to pick Chucky uh, 4K. Yeah, those are shitty covers, man. They're awful. Here we go. Ooh. Um, Short Scope Volume 1. Oh, no, it's out of stock, so I can't break that. Uh, Savage Guns. So, Savage Guns? Oh, then I have to choose. What do you, what do you think, Pixie? What do you think? What should I go for? I'll, uh, well, we'll, pick, we'll pick the Bill Rebane collection. Oh, nice. Okay, my go this time. I'm going to pick Blood Money. Uh, can't. It's out of stock. It's yeah, out. I'm, going to, I'm going to pick the. Uh, I'm going to go with the third Win- Winnow Films, Katsuhiro Ishii collection. Oh, nice. I guess I'll pick uh, Hellraiser then. What are you doing, sweetie? All right, you're going to go first this time. That was about honor and humanity. 
Classic. I don't know what you're going to pick. What's it going to be? <laughs> it's Juan. Oh. I love those films. They are good. Uh, here, I'm going to go with Phantasm Collection. I really love the Phantasm films. Oh, nice. I'm going to go with the Lucas Moodison set. I don't know those films as well, so uh, I can't go with that set. Oh. They're good. All right. Okay. All right. I get to go first there. So. <laughs> uh, I'm picking uh, Blood Hunger, which I do own, actually. <laughs> I was really hoping you'd pick Jim on again, just because it'd be <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> um, I'm going to pick Bowser Vell on Man Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Chris Afghan's last game, you know. Sure. Uh, okay. I'm going to pick uh, Years of Lead. I was going to choose Years of Lead, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll pick. Uh, oh, do you want Gamma or you okay, Monsters? You okay, Monsters is pretty good. Um, I go with Fantastico. It's a really good set. <laughs> yeah, she, I know she's got the Fantastico. I love the look of that. They're not all like brilliant movies, but they're great movies. I'm going to choose um, Eric Romer. I love Eric Romer. So, uh, nice. I'm going to pick Bono. So, I mean, Camo Obscura, <laughs> the Wiley and Bullock <laughs> collection. He said, that, they said Bono. I'm going to pick the guy from U2. You know, that's good, <laughs> that's good music. Yeah, there you go, Bono. What do you think? You've got like crazy murder eyes sometimes. You want to kick it? But you're adorable. All right, your first go. Uh, I pick the Daj Majink trilogy. I'm gonna go with Vengeance Trails because I love me some Lucio Fulci westerns. Hmm. Okay, I got to get to go first, and I am going to choose. Oh, Jesus, hard one. Ah, crikey. Ah, the st cycle the story continues. Oh, nice. I'm going to pick Stray Cat Collection. I'm glad you pick it. Everybody rags them when I say I like that set. Really? Classic. Yeah, they do. Classic. <laughs> do I, you got to go first. Um, I'm going to pick the uh, Fast Bend, the Volume 2. I'm going to go with the Marx Brothers. I know it's not as funny as the Fast Bend Collection. Because, <laughs> you know. Fassbender is known for his, his laugh a minute films. Oh, he's such a comedian. <laughs> uh, I'm going to choose uh, Rogue Cops and Racketeers, the Enzo G. Castellari set. I was very tempted to Ooh, choose nice. Female Prisoner Scorpion, but I'm going to go with, uh, with the Plizzy Ateshi. Yeah, I'm going to go with Female Prisoner Scorpion, but that Rogue Cops and Racketeers was a good set. That's kind of surprising for the other one, like what Fassbender said. I was going to, but. Uh, I thought, oh, I'll take that one. Um, uh, Best been the volume three. Uh, although I got the yellow collection, I haven't sat down and watched it yet. The ring collection is amazing. Uh, the Boy, features on it are just insane, incredible. I'm going to choose the house collection here, actually. Uh, they put all four of them in here as opposed to the North American release, which only gets one and two. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'll pick the Vengeance trilogy. Why not? On a great family film features to watch, right? Right, right. Especially uh, Lady Vengeance. Well, I think like you're going to sit and watch a movie with, the, with your kids. Oh, you're just going to watch Hold By. You know, that's not creepy at all. It teaches uh, you. It teaches you life. Uh, I picked the Sartana collection. Good one. I love that set. I'm actually going to choose Carlito's Way, uh, and I'll go for the limited edition 4K Ultra HD one with the, not the slip cover that's, that looks like the original cut poster, but the newer artwork right here. I've got that new artwork one. Looks good, man. Looks in person. I'll know that. I may know that soon. By the way, when that black moving van comes to help, like, just put your movies in there, and, you know... Pin moving has nothing to do with me. Yeah, you're going to pretend, didn't you? You're going to pretend to be my, the moving company. There we go. 
You're going to be sitting in the front of the truck with uh, Prince Oreo on your lap like uh, the villain in Inspector Gadget. Oh, next time, Malcolm. <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick the uh, Cold War Creatures collection. Great set, and great collection, great special features on them, by the way. Mm. I'm gonna, I can't pick the one where the people want to fight over fucking a lighthouse, so I'll choose Diallo Sanchez White. The great film. Uh, there's only two to choose from here, and I'm gonna choose Waterworld. Oh, good one. I pick uh, Hellraiser. I was, okay. I didn't know what you were gonna choose. I was my, I was mm. waiting with big breath. By the way, after this, guys, we are going to rank these sales. See which one is our favorite. All right. My choice this time or your choice? No, your choice. Uh, I pick uh, uh, the Buddhist trilogy. Nice choice. Uh, Manny, I said Manny or Chris actually picked up. I think it's Chris picked up. Uh, if we were on here, actually picked up Children of the Corn set recently. Um, oh, nice. And I'm going to choose that actually, Turn of the Corn Sun. Because there's way more features than the films one. I, I mean, you're on that, you're on that first, aren't you? Ah, ooh. Jeez, which one? Uh, I'll pick uh, five films by Claude Chabral because uh, that's the other one has four and says five. So there you go. And I love Claude Chabral. I, I'm going to pick Count Yolga. That changed and maybe ruined Hammer to like change to the the modern day like Dracula. Yeah, that was silly. Like, I mean, look how cheap it is now, though. That's a good set, man. I got the Twilight Time of one of them, and I got the Scream Factor of the other. I think Scream Factor is the second mm. one. They're very similar, uh, but I like better. Oh, I pick uh, the Show Bubba set. Well, now I can finally choose the lighthouse. <laughs> I used to live next to a lighthouse. Oh, nice. I, I never wanted to bang it. That's crazy. I know. Weird, huh? Why not? Was it because it didn't light up your life? Well, I painted it. Oh. Uh, American Horror Painting. Is your choice you American Horror Project if I'm one? Uh, Wolf and Wall Street for me. You did not pick Way of the Dragon, nah. Well, uh, he didn't go first this time. Uh, I'll pick Game of Death because I like Game of Death. I'll pick Blood and Black Lace because it's a classic. And it's better than Game of Death. <laughs> um, I pick Weird Science. Oh, you, you son of a! <laughs> I, I already picked Road Cops. I already picked John. I guess I'm going to pick the Basher box. Yep, because I already own it. So <laughs> that's true. Hmm. I pick Demons. I'm going to pick uh, Four Fills by Chang Che. You're going to pick Demons too? I really expect to pick Demons too. I almost did. Uh, I pick uh, The Sisters Brothers. I'm going to choose Naked Lunch. Uh, I'll actually take that film. We'll go one more page with this. And then what we're going to do then is we're going to rank these cells. Okay, sounds good. So here. I, oh, my, oh, I'm going to choose a Fist Fury. Oh, I'm gonna pick the ring. The, you know, the money is there if you want to pick it. <laughs> Just say. Oh yeah, definitely. You got you go. Uh, the human condition trilogy. The big boss. That's probably the one that made me fall in love with Bruce Lee. Well, you can't check. You but you had to choose again, and the big boss is never. Oh, oh it's sold out. It's sold out. Okay, time bandits. 
Time Bandits is a good choice. I pick um, Way of the Dragon. Oh, Fist Fury. Hands down. I pick um, Deep Red. I'm going to... Do you pick Deep Red? Yes, you do. Okay. Uh, although it's not my favorite. Cat of Nine Tails. Hey. I pick... If it's, can I pick it? Yeah, Wild Things. I pick Electric uh, Dragon 80,000 Volts. All right. The time has come. Okay. There's a vindicated, vindicated, vindicated. <laughs> vindicated syndrome there. You know what I love, didn't you? Me and you, you can tell both times. We keep messing up. <laughs> so vinegar syndrome sale. There is the arrow sale. Mm. There is the candle sale. There is the indicator sale. Mm. We'll go round robin. Shoot. I want your number four pick. Do you want it worst to best? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to say number four, Vinegar Syndrome. I'm the same here. Uh, some good Def Crocodile stuff. It's not a big sale. You know, it sounds, not that it's a bad sale. I'm not like throwing a shade on it. It's just, you know, compared to these other sales and the, the yeah. breadth of titles. All right. So your number three choice. My number three choice would probably be, um, and this is subjective to obviously what people have. I would probably say Arrow. And number three. Uh, <laughs> because uh, it's the same old, isn't it? As usual, you know the prices. For a lot of these, are, this is, <laughs> I'm going to say just because of the, the day that we did this on, and because a lot of the stuff that I that I would have chosen is probably not there so much. Um, that's really hard. This is a really hard one because I'm. Oh. Indicator. Wow. Yeah, but surprised. you remember, if you didn't buy it on day one and it sold out, that's not their fault. Exactly. Not if, again, not shade and indicator. These are all great sales. We're just picking them up, putting them in order now. But none of these sales are bad. Okay. Like in my okay. opinion. Um, I'd say seconds indicator. My second is Kino. <laughs> okay. Oh, I right, my first one is Kino because the prices are good. The only bad thing is that they don't ship abroad. My first one is Arrow Video. And right. wait a second, hold on. Big Serio, Hibney, Chase, Chase is here. What do you think? She's kind of tired. But she says, we forgot about the umbrella sale. Oh, yeah, we did. We? <laughs> but that's not Vinegar Syndrome. Oh, it sort of is, yeah. And it's still like, then that will be on your Vinegar Syndrome, uh, I, I guess, because yeah. it's like, you know, it's less. Now, either way, like there's great titles here, depending on what you're into. If you want like a wide variety of stuff, like Kino and Arrow, Indicator, if you want like some some really cool like different niche and inter interesting titles, really want to challenge your yourself. There's some wonderful titles in that Vinegar Syndrome partner label sale. Things from Death Crocodile, Yellow Veil, uh, Ald Aldred Innocence is an amazing company. Uh, just so many good t things. Here's the thing: no matter what your choices or how you rank them, and I would like to love to see your rankings in the comment section there, guys. Um, everybody wins. At uh, the only thing that loses. It's your pocketbook. That's the that's yes. The and for me, I, like I just, uh, so I can't buy anything. Okay. And I wish I could. If I was buying from a sale, though, I'd probably get some more arrow stuff because I I sat down last night. Uh, I talked to Malcolm, 
and uh, I watched uh, what was it again? Uh, Diddly Games, mm. and I want to do a review on that actually with you. Uh, right, right, right. It's a brilliant film. Like, spoiler alert! <laughs> but uh, I got a lot to say on that uh, on that film. And if you like movies like Scream, and you like uh, so if you like movies like Scream, and you like uh, gay as folk, you will love Diddly Games. Uh, and I'm not even joking Girl. there. Like, there is like there is there is a there, there's a there's a tie there between those. There's two. a little weirdness to it. Greatness, man. but in the world, back, back in the day when Steve Rails back seen me in every second movie you watched. Like, I'm gonna watch a movie. Like, I watched like five movies. They could be random films, like a space movie, you know, like a but science the, fiction film. But the big question, the big question is this: Does anybody in it say, "Just call me King Arthur"? <laughs> there's there's a, a section at the beginning of the film where the the actress comes and she does what every actress does uh, or no every person does in real life when they come home from a hard day at work she she, break those she clothes home and she gets she goes and she goes into her doors in front her of door her window and takes off her shirt because uh, you know that's what we do like I did every I was out today Got, got up this morning, uh, got my uh, better half. She got her some coffee. Uh, I didn't get a chance to drink some myself because I had to go to the pharmacy to get pick up some stuff and I had to go pick up some money at the bank. So I went to uh, went to the pharmacy, uh, went to the bank, uh, came back, took my shirt off in the doorway, you know, <laughs> just arched my back a bit and hung Because, <laughs> you know, that's what you do, right? Yeah, it's exactly <laughs> what you do, yeah. You flop the yeah, shirts you, off, arch the bag, take it all off. That's it, guys. You're and stuck then you wonder why you get weird phone calls oh. from people saying they're looking at you. That's it. But yeah, no, there you go. Yeah, I stuck you with a with a horrifying mental image <laughs> for the rest of your weekend. You're welcome. <laughs> but uh, this has been a great video. I got to say, I got to thank Malcolm for this. Uh, I got to thank Pixie for being like our. Uh, yep. Are are basically our, our our mascot. Yeah, she's really and becoming the mascot, isn't she? She turns up for every stream now. She is photo bombing like crazy. Um, and again, apologize to people for the technical delays early. M poor Malcolm, like trying to do everything. Like, is this working? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, I know what it was, and I can say that now that the video is almost over. You gotta hate me for this, man. Uh, so there's a mute button on my computer. Oh, come on. <laughs> but I didn't realize oh, no. I did it. So when the video started and, uh, kicked it off, didn't it? Kicked it off. And I was and I could see it. I'm like, oh, do I tell Malcolm? <laughs> oh, no. Like 20 minutes, man. Well, I was like, oh, man. But guys, thank you so no, much. Blame him, not me. Yeah. It's 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 a me thing. Um, the, if you just came in here, like we went through a whole bunch of stuff on the sales. I could have went on all night with the like keynote and stuff like that. But have a wonderful night, guys. We will see you soon. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that, whatever they say on YouTube normally. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you, Malcolm. Have a great evening. Okay, thank you.